I guess to start the question, the catalyst for the covers record was that during my live shows over the years in encores or at some moments, I always played stuff that kind of showed my hand where my influences were, stuff maybe I heard when I was growing up in the 70s, early 80s, or things I heard a few weeks ago, like a band like The Hold Steady or The Kills, and it was just a way to kind of break up the set and not just stick to your original material. And then I started doing that for a while, and fans would say, why don't you make a covers record? And I would joke, yeah, I'm going to make the covers record, and I'd go make another studio record of originals. And then this holiday season, I, I'd been home, and after a couple of days of the quietness in New York and the holidays, I kind of got antsy to do a project, and I was in between making a new record and still working Glitter in the Gutter, the last record. So I went in the studio for seven days with a list of 25 songs, and it was like a passion play, you know, just making a mixtape for somebody, a real schizophrenic mix of just songs from my heart, and, and that's what I wanted to do, like making a friend or a lover a mix. And we went in with 25 songs and narrowed it down to 14, and did it in seven days, and it was just a, a fun project to do in between records.